going on guys? Edgar from the Edgar World Network here to bring you an interesting Super Smash Brothers video. Now this was originally speculated to be a glitch, but I actually did watch the video one time before, so this isn't going to be a first time reaction as I usually do, but I still wanted to showcase this because it's an interesting scenario which I think a lot of people haven't seen yet. And it involves Ness and it involves Princess Peach. Some of you may know what I'm talking about. Either way, I want to give a big shout out to JMC Spike who showed me this. It's a concept that I never thought of until I saw it in this video. So thank you for this. This will be linked in the description, but let's take a look at it ourselves right now so you can see exactly what we're working with. So I'm not gonna talk until, you know, we see what it is that I want you to see in this video. Pay attention to Ness and Peach. Well, actually, it'll be hard not to. <laughs> look what the fuck happens. Fucking Christ almighty. <laughs> Holy shit. My God. My fucking God. So there's a lot to take in there. Obviously the two main contributing factors to why that turned into such a clusterfuck are Peach's toad counter thing and Ness's baseball bat reflection side smash thing. Now obviously when you know peaches um peaches neutral b with um it's her neutral b that's toad right i'm not exactly 100 percent sure wait down b is the turn up neutral b is toad yeah but peaches neutral b man like it has some serious firepower to it if you manage to counter a hit with that thing the spores that toad shoots out man those shits do damage but i mean we're obviously looking at a clash of reflective ability so here's what i'm here's what i'm saying right now let's go back I need to, I want to kind of isolate the factors that cause such a shit show in the first place. So Peach, I saw at one point, puts on a Franklin badge. And doesn't the Franklin badge, like, make it so you automatically reflect certain projectiles that are thrown at you? Ness only hit her once. Ness used his side smash, and Peach countered it with Toad. But why would that attribute to suddenly multiple hits being put in there? Like, it's a little bit strange. Apparently, at the same time, Mewtwo comes through and he hits Peach as well. So maybe with two of these powerful hits that Peach's toe took, it might have caused a... Maybe there is a little bit of a glitch going on in the background here. I wish I could emulate this scenario right now, but I would need two people playing at the same time as me in order to be able to do so, and nobody I know is really up right now. But I mean, still, what caused this? What caused this? What the hell caused this? Like. Ness only hit her once, but his baseball bat does reflect projectiles back. So maybe his baseball bat reflected some of the spores from Toad, and those spores reflected from Ness back to Toad, and those caused even more spores to come out. Maybe that happened. Ness did get the hit off on her. He did get the hit off, but at that point, it was already reflected, so how would there be multiple hits that can cause that much damage to Ranko? Or maybe it was, or maybe it was on um, the Mr. Saturn. Maybe he, him constantly falling on her, cause. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I really have nothing right now. Let's see what some of the comments are saying. Um, they're calling this the Toad Destroyer of Worlds glitch. This might just be something that's unique to Ness only. Maybe the fact that his bat has reflective properties could just cause the game to fuck up whenever Toad is hit by it. I don't know. I don't know for a fact. Um, here we go. Actually, it's, Sh it's Shun Goku Satsu. That or a high octane tennis match between Ness's bat, N Ness's bat, and the Franklin badge. Ness lost. <laughs> Damn right. Um, it's the bat. Ness's bat reflected the spores, but. That, would, that wouldn't make any sense because as soon as Ness hit Toad, the spores reflected off of that back to Ness and his hitbox was removed. Ness was taking damage the whole time. It's not like he was spending all those frames in the reflection from the bat. Like he was taking damage the whole time. Look, after that, Ness is taking damage. It's not like he's reflecting the spores back at this point. So what's causing the spores to constantly come out at this point and do damage to him? It's kind of crazy. Um, either way, let me know Okay, wait. It has it in slow motion. And the Mr. Saturn isn't hitting Toad or Peach, rather, so I mean...
God damn, that was absolute destruction though. Damn, um, yeah, it looks like the only person, the only time that Peach got hit was when Ness used the bat on her. It seemed like Mewtwo got a hit from the back as well too, but, but, um, that still doesn't explain why this happened. This could most likely just be a glitch. So, either way guys, I'll leave it to you to figure this out in the comments below. Let me know exactly what you think happened here, and if there's a way to emulate it, and if any of you could recreate the situation yourselves, let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.